What are the benefits of ethical hacking? I get this asked quite a bit. The benefits of ethical hacking are a little different than the be benefits of network defense or perimeter defense because ethical hacking helps any system owner, any business owner really, find the vulnerabilities before an attacker does in the way that the attacker would find if they were actually committing an attack. That's why ethical hacking uses these attacker techniques. That's why it actually uses the real tools, the real technologies, the real methodology and approaches that an attacker would rather than using a SAS process that an auditor might use, or rather than using the CISSP framework for defense, modeling an attack always finds vulnerabilities that cannot be found any other way. Helps document both weak security areas, areas where an attacker can get in, and also strong security areas, areas where an attacker is thwarted, takes forever. Those are the kinds of areas that we don't need to worry about or maybe need to extend those areas to cover other technologies or other attack vectors. Finding the weak parts of any security approach or any security model, that's the key benefit of ethical hacking. That's really why folks do this. I mentioned a little bit ago that ethical hacking is actually more of an attack technique. It uses attacker tools, it uses attacker approaches, it takes the posture of an attacker, and there's a big difference between ethical hacking and network security. Network security is more about defending, documenting defenses, finding out about firewalls and putting them up, finding out about VPN server security, and actually instantiating VPN servers. It's not about typically modeling an attack, especially the way an attacker would. So those are very, very different things. A network security is typically following best practices or common techniques in order to implement and operate in a secure manner versus ethical hacking, which is finding the weaknesses in those implementations, documenting those weaknesses, and then feeding them back into a network security process that helps defend against them and repel those types of uh, potential attacks from, the fu from future occurrences.